uh, today who have joined you. Yesterday I had given some questions. Yesterday I had given some questions. Do you all know what I have given? Okay. Today we take the most important part of the second chapter that is the critical success factors. Critical success factors, they are also known as CSF. First of all, I will show you the... Uh, one moment. Okay. Okay. Can you see this? Yes. What is exactly a critical success factor about an industry? Now, as we know, industries can be of different types. I have told you in the beginning, industries can be different types. And this critical success factor uh, was uh, in the earlier stages, it was used for data and business analysis. So all those students who have specialization as BA, critical success factors becomes one of the uh, prime uh, components of B. It is it is an essential attribute for an organization. It means it is an uh, essential requirement for an organization in order to be successful in the market. Have you seen this diagram? Can you see this diagram, please? Yes, see, we have capable technical personnel, effective risk management. Now, this diagram is for all the types of industry. Effective risk management, effective communication, effective planning. Then we have capable managers. We will see what is this KPIs. KPIs is a part of uh, CSF. Then effective quality control effective cost estimating, effective process and systems, effective milestones tracking, like where we need to go, that is a milestone. You see, what is the meaning of milestone when you're traveling? You see a white stone in the corner and there it is written, oh, still 100, 100 kilometers you need, you need to travel in order to reach your destination. That is the dictionary meaning of a milestone. Then effective change management. I will clear with this diagram. Are you all clear with this diagram? Then, one moment. Huh? One. One moment, please. It's in my other drive. One moment, One minute, I'm not able to find out my PPT. Just a minute, I've got lots of PPTs made. So I need to understand. All right. Hmm. Now, just uh, keep this open. I'll just explain you. 
now critical success factors they usually uh, vary they are different for each and every industry for example as i always mentioned we have different types of industries like manufacturing industry auto ancillary industry then we have uh, uh, what is it fmcg industry we have a pharma industry we have an agro based industry then uh, we have a dairy industry so what happens is if i take an example of uh, a milk uh, processing unit like amul amul is the biggest dairy what happens in in amul it is not only the milk which is sold but it is also the milk products that have been sold so what happens is in this case they should have an efficient distribution system so an efficient distribution system becomes the key success factor have you heard about the country called denmark have you heard about denmark a country in the north european side have you all heard about it have you all heard about denmark have you all heard about denmark anyone okay now denmark the gives milk or denmark distributes milk to a country called bahrain every day in the gulf so from morning every morning fresh milk is flown from denmark to bahrain so here the distribution channel plays a very very important role now in the banking sector what we need what are the critical success factors of the banking sector okay they are using new technology and they are using prom services now prom services means where people are coming for the savings account people are coming for their current account they cannot uh, stand in the queue for the entire day so we need to give them prom services so critical success factors because becomes an important uh, parameter for the growth what is the price One moment. One moment, please. I have made something for you. Very simple. It is not that bad. Okay, this is not okay. Then it is also important for the internal resources and skills of the industry and they have to take care of the external environment into consideration of the firm now what happens is in critical uh, success factors we always have many components now what are the components what can be the sources of critical success factors what is the industry as i told you um, what type of uh, industry are we going to have what type of industry are we tackling do we have an um, a dairy industry do we have a manufacturing industry or do we have a telecom industry so the attributes of a particular industry will also depend upon the critical success factors okay now for example if i tell you we are looking into say three different industries at the moment we have the education sector which is also we can call it as a service sector then we have a healthcare sector and we have an it sector in all these three cases the critical success factors are definitely going to be 
different. Now in IT sector, suppose if I bifurcate IT sector, we have Infosys, we have Wipro, we have TCS, we have HCL. Now even for all these companies, the critical success factors will be different because these companies are operating in different environment. So an environment plays a very, very important role in analyzing or in telling us about what critical success factors have to be there. Then if I talk about the uh, manufacturing oriented service uh, factors for a manufacturing company, what we should have now, suppose if I'm manufacturing cars. Now, this I have not put in the slide because slides are something else which I'll be showing you. This is just the tip of the iceberg I'm talking today. In a manufacturing sector, what are we are going to see? First of all, what product are we going to manufacture? Secondly, what type of skilled labor or skilled productive workforce we are going to have? Then we need to have the location. The location should be in such place that it should be easy for transportation. It would it should be easy for a market. Then we have to design and engineer the products. Now, de designing and engineer engineering of the products should be done in a such a way that even common person can afford to buy those products. Then we have proper use of the fixed assets of the company and as I said, an abundant supply of skilled manpower. Now this becomes for a manufacturing oriented, for a manufacturing oriented process. Secondly, if I talk about a distribution oriented process, the critical success factors for the distribution oriented process can uh, be like they should have a prompt delivery. They should have prompt delivery. Then they should have proper channel, networking channels, and they should have a good market. The distribution cost should be reduced. Distribution cost should be reduced, and they should have lots of space. Now you see uh, e-commerce platforms like Amazon and all, they have got very big warehouses. They need to store their goods, and they should have proper retail outlets. Now, if you're traveling, you see a Reliance petrol pump and there you will see the company's outlet. Uh, if you go to, uh, which will have a company outlet, uh, just casual will be a company outlet. Company outlet means the stores are started by the company themselves. So that becomes a company outlet. Then we have a marketing oriented process. When we talk about a marketing oriented process, we can again uh, go for skilled and trained labors or trained workforce. Then you know you should have the requisite skills for selling. Marketing, you need uh, good selling skills. Like you should have your proper body language in place. You should have, you should have your communication skills in place. Then uh, you know service after sales plays a very important role in the marketing domain. Then you should have a very good product line. And you should have, you know, a customer is able to select. For example, if you go to buy a lipstick in the market, you'll have many brands. Like you'll have Lacme, you'll have Revlon, you have Sugar Cosmetics, you have Nika, then you have Blue Haven. You have all these brands. Then if you go, uh, another aspect we can look forward is you should have trained and skilled sales force. The timely training given to these uh, employees really increases their performance. Then the third aspect would be skills oriented success factors. What are skills oriented? First of all, you should be if you're working in a manufacturing sector, or if you're working in an automobile sector, you should have a proficiency in designing products. You know, this um, uh, this gentleman called Deepak Chabria is very good at designing cars. If you uh, if you search on Google, you will see his car designs. They are very beautiful. So he has those designing skills. Then we should have talented employees. We should have uh, techno technological know how. Technological know how means you should have knowledge of the 
upcoming technologies then you should have knowledge even over the quality of their products if somebody is going to ask you the product description you should know for the product description and most and sabse important is your advertisement advertisement should seek the attention of the people then organizational capability under organizational capability we will have uh, good information systems like the timely information is there information is shared and we we will have we should have so much of flexibility that we can respond to any changing market conditions now based on critical success factors we have two indicators all right now this is the most important part this is the most important part one moment ah see you know i will uh, the kpis and the kras i would really love to explain you with an example and an excel sheet because this is how it looks this is how it looks all right now kpis and kras what is a kra that is a uh, kra is key result areas and we have kpis this is key performance indicators now key performance indicators or key success indicators are the determinants that will help an organization to define and measure the progress for example now this is an xyz company now i have made a small template for you in order to understand the kpis very correctly because if you go for a job especially hr and all people they will ask you to make this they will ask you to make this all right so just look hmm? see this is known as a table for your kpis that is key performance indicators now <coughs> in the key performance indicators if you look at this chart we have something called as a key result areas all right now what is your key result area you are doing recruiting you are doing recruitment so my key result areas becomes a recruitment now under this key result areas for recruitment i have got something called as the kpis or called as a p for uh, key performance indicators now recruiting is my major area under recruiting what am i supposed to do is average lead time to recruit employees now average lead time to recruit employees means in how many days can i put a person on board right from hiring right from uh, going through search engines uh, right from uh, giving the job description conducting the interview screening the candidate joining report how much time it would take ideally in an industry it is of 30 days right from manpower planning it is 30 days now suppose if i don't uh, complete this within the 30 days then i am lacking in my kpis suppose you tell your management okay i am going to hire five people on board my turn around time or the time what i am going to take to do this activity is 30 days now if you fail so your key the percentage of your key areas go down now what was the target your target was within 30 days but actually you worked in 35 days so there is a lapse of 5 days there is a difference of 5 days you have taken 5 days extra to do your work so your scores will be decided accordingly and based upon your final scores on all these four parameters your performance will be decided for example if i tell mr a mr a your performance linked bonus for the year 23 24 is of 3 lakhs all right however you have to this is your 
key result areas. This is your key, uh, KRS. Okay. Key result areas means we call it as short form as KRS. Now, this is, this is your KRS. Now, the manager will say, I expect at least 95% of your KRAs to be filled in order to get 3 lakhs bonus, the entire 3 lakhs amount. But somewhere down the line, you fail. Your scores come to, say, 93-94 or less than 90. So, according to your scores, your performance links bonus will be paid to you. So, uh, this I've just put a template for an HR. Then you have training and development. That means how many hours of training you are imparting for the existing employee as well as the new employee. All right. Now here, we also see the percentage difference in the rate of productivity before and after training. Now, what do you mean by this? Before, before giving training to uh, that employee, his uh, uh, efficiency, work efficiency was only 70%. All right. He was lacking some basic skills. He was lacking the basic skill sets which were meant for his job. But after training, how? What is his? Uh, what is his improvement? Has he improved? Has he gone about seventy, or is it till at seventy, or he's become less than seventy? Based on these parameters, your your actual and your scores will be decided. Then. Performance career, uh, career management, the percentage of employees that fully execute their individual development plan, what you call as IDP, individual development plan. So what development you have done, even as an individual, what have you learned? Anything new which will have the company to grow? Then percentage of employees that participate in career coaching program in an industry, even all the employees are given some sort of training on, on say, a six-monthly basis or an annual basis. This is just to upgrade their skills according to the market requirements. Then we have employee retention and productivity. Now, uh, employee retention means are you holding people, your policy is such that people will not leave your company and go? All right. Your policies are people-centric. That means people-centered policies. Now, if you're if you're not taking care of this, then what happens? The attrition rate of the company goes up. And the attrition rate, according to me, above 10% is not good for any organization. So you need to take care. And profit per, per employee. Because if you're going to maintain people, you don't have to recruit new people. When you're not going to recruit new people, that means you are taking care of the recruitment cost. Now see here, key result areas are the main goals that HR manager needs to accomplish. Key performance indicators are measurable indicators used to evaluate your performance level. Every key result areas must have at least one KPI. Now if recruitment is your uh, KRA, then for that, average lead time to recruitment becomes your KPI. Total number of KPIs should be 8 to 10 in number. Then, weight of each KPI should be defined. Weight of KPI is, de is determined based on the scale of priorities. Now, see, the first two of at most priority, okay? Total weight should be 100. See, the total weight has come to 100. Yeah, see how we have defined those. Okay, actual target was 60 days. So 60 calendar days, but I have taken 70 days. So my score is coming to 86. My target was 80 days. I have actually taken 82 days. So okay, my score is 103. It was 40 hours per year. Actual target was 40 hours. Actual I have did uh, 37 hours. Okay, it's 93. In the above case, target was 80 days, but I actually, uh, you know, 82 days. I did more. Then, uh, my target in this case was 50%, but actually I did 67%. I was told to do 
fifty percent productivity, but I have given sixty seven per day, sixty seven percent of productivity. So my scores have gone to one thirty four. Then my target year for career and performance and career management was ninety percent, but I have actually done eighty percent. Therefore, my scores are eighty nine. So according to this, you know, according to your scores, your now see we have this formula. Please keep it in mind. Formula to calculate the scores actual upon target into hundred. For KPI, maximize the higher, higher the better. Or target upon actual into hundred. KPI minimize the lower the better. But therefore, what what does this mean? In some cases, if the KPI is higher, it is okay, right? But in some cases, if it is lower, suppose is the company budget. You are spending less money, then your KPI is uh, minimized. That is better. Then formula to obtain the final scores is equal to the score X score into uh, into weight upon hundred. Then final score is used to determine the bonus allocation. Yeah, that performance linked bonus allocation. So see the final scores. It has come to ninety five. Now based upon this scores, there will be how much bonus is to be paid for the employee. How can uh, how much increment salary increment has to be given, and what is the promotion needs to be given. So did you follow this table? Did you follow this table? How many of you are there today? How many people? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Amiya, Amiya, there. Do you are you following this table? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's very uh, very much. I've made it self-explanatory. Who else is there? Who said yes, ma'am? Ma'am, ma'am, Divya. Ah, oh, Divya. Good. You are attending. This is the first lecture, right? Yes, ma'am. You know what we have done previously, Divya? We have completed one topic. Yes, ma'am. And uh, where is the first question I had given you all to write at the weekend? I repeat again and again. Only Ishika has shown. Just nobody has shown me that question. Why? You all don't want to prepare for your exam side by side. Hmm. I am not telling you to write every day. I am telling you to write on the weekends. So you start studying also side by side, right? Now see, this is the actual uh, settings we'll do. I've just put an example for you for a uh, edible salt uh, co company of Chennai. All right. The name is okay. Let's see, Mr. N. Anand. What is his designation? He's the deputy general manager. Grade of his job is eight. Assessment year. It's an old one, but still you need to look as to how we do it in the company. Assessment year two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Location: Edible Salt, Chennai. Function: He is into operations. Sub function: Operations. And Mr. Anand is reporting to his head, that is S. Ramesh. Okay. Now just see part two. The employee has to list four to five KRAs. Set targets for the year and assign weightage in the weightage column. Yeah, weightage column in order of importance of a KRA in discussion with the appraiser. Now, appraiser means who is going to uh, have a one and one. That is, he's going to call you at the end of the accounting year. He's going to talk to you, and there will be a performance rating based on your KRAs. So. This here, the first KRA to reduce power consumption in refined salt, that is average yearly production and yearly consumption. What is the KP indicator? Now this is the KRA. Now under this KRA we will have this KPI, absolute reduction unit per mt of a refined salt production, that is a metric tons. Okay, mt is a metric ton. Now what was his uh, target? From thirty-two to twenty-seven units, it has to be refined. So weightage is thirty. Now to reduce and save the power. All right. Now see, this is an industry where it 
it uh, there is lots of power consumption so how can we reduce the power consumption without affecting the productivity so reduction from rupees 1.08 lakhs per month to rupees 0.95 lakhs per per month so saving in rupees all right saving in rupees it's very important uh, this uh, unit so how much it was the target to save 0.78 lakhs weightage was 20 percent now to control the uh, expenses of this plant i have named this plant by not overshooting the total approved expenses right we don't want to uh, <coughs> increase the expenses of the plant <coughs> but we want to do all this so as per the budget whatever the budget is given by the company how much it was 53.50 the weightage was 30 now to control overheads at this plant as against last year's so last year if the company say uh, spent 100 rupees more this time we should reduce that overheads so as per so it what it was rupees 600 plus uh, per metric ton now this is you don't have to learn this but if you go in a company, if you go for an interview and they ask you, at least you should know the basics of it. So KPI, one is the KRA and under each KRA, you're going to have a KPI. As I told you, if recruitment becomes one KRA, under recruitment, you will have the days, you will have the right person on board. So under one KR, uh, KRA, we will have at least two KPIs. Remember that. And the total weightage should be 100. And then we have the signature of the manager. Okay. Now, based on this, based on this, we will have his performance. All right. So, you see how your KRAs and KPIs are linked to your performance. Now, see, he has achieved all this. And now, based upon this, we are going to give him promotion and a salary appraisal. Now, see, the same employee here, rating point. 10 okay rating point 10 so rating and achievements so he achieved 10 excellent okay his achievements are greater than or equal to 111 percent then he's got nine in some of the parameters okay very good his achievements are 101 to 110 percent then again uh, in some cases he's got now this rating point depends upon all this okay the weightage are you getting the rating point depends upon the weightage. Then 9, very good. 8, good. So he's got 91 to 100%. 7, fair. Okay, seven. Uh, he's got 7. So this first, second, third, fourth. So what was the fourth parameter? First, second, third, fourth. Okay, overheads. And the sixth one, he's fed poor. Now just see. Okay, now just see what it is. Percentage achievement, right? Then the weightage. Now, this is a self appraisal, huh? first of all. That I am doing my self appraisal. I know what I have done. I have rated myself and I have made my points as 380. So, my KRA scores are 380. Now, based on this KRA scores, you will have the final appraisal. So, are you getting critical success factors are the key factors which are required for every department in an organization. Then critical success factors we divide into two. One is the KRAs and the KPIs. KPIs come under KRAs. Once the KRAs are defined and then we will define the KPIs and then how these KPIs will be used for uh, getting your performance appraisal. Now, what can be the characteristics of a, a KPI? It is non-financial measures. Then they are measured frequently because we need to do a self-assessment. We need to measure frequently. Though we are measuring frequently, it will always be see here in this case who is monitoring? He is being monitored by the top management that is the deputy general manager in this case. Then KPIs are understood by the staff. Now, who is the staff here? Mr. Uh, Mr. Anantan is the staff. So, he is understanding his KPIs. 
he has to know what he is supposed to achieve then they have a significant effect on the organization now suppose what do you mean by significant effect on the organization if he is saving here right he is saving the money of the organization if he is saving here he is saving the money of the organization then if he is not fulfilling now see here it was 30 here it is 20 now in this case there is some loophole there is some lacune he needs to take some more action on the second point so they have so in a nutshell we'll say kpi is a non financial measures all right then they are measured frequently they have to be monitored by the top management they are understood by the staff and they have a significant effect on the organization and secondly they indic indicate the actions which are taken by the organization but to build this kpi we just cannot build the kpis randomly can we can we build the kpis randomly no we cannot we cannot uh, build it randomly by this one moment at this again this cannot be built up randomly for this we need to understand the objectives the mission and uh, vision of the company one second why is this two and okay now see this kra based on performance appraisal system overview performance appraisal system and the basics kra kra also known as the key result areas and kpis are also known as key performance indicator now what is the derivation process you know we have a process it is good to know information i put that is called as a tamarind individual kra systems it is just for you to give a extra update kra based performance appraisal cycle appraisal feedback and its utilization okay why kra based performance appraisal don't measure yourself by what you have accomplished but by what you could have accomplished with your ability so in a kra your ability plays a very important role so what it is focused on growth part better monitoring this better monitoring will be done by your top management then you have a benchmark okay i have scored 50% now i need to score 80% then we have the scientific methodology of evaluation all right we have a proper system of evaluation in most of the companies they have software to do your evaluation then some appraisal instrument that that is the software they use they are not doing it like one to one and then they say oh no i am favored the other employee is favored i am working the other employee is not working no in a company nowadays technology is used rampantly and all these things are not tolerated so kra means the key result area it is identified out by the day to day routine activities primary job objectives or major goals right so when you need to set your kras your objectives should be in place then what can be the possible outcomes or expectations of a job position then groups relevant activities under one cluster under one cluster means under one group forming a kra then what is a KP, kpi kpi sorry is an activity or is an assignment or it is a process to accomplish the main goals now if you see the strategic intent is a huge chain all right after we study the intent we do the we do the strategic planning we do the strategic formulation we do the strategic evaluation then we have set a vision mission goals objectives in place 
and after that comes this performance appraisal where the three main factors are critical surface factors critical success factors and the critical success factors we have the kras and at the kras we have the kpis so if you see the kpis are linking back to the goals of the organization so sub activity under each kra example kra increase profit per file now under this kra okay see under this kra we are having two kpis get competitive rates and effective negotiation with the parties there can be more than one kpi under a kra for example i'll just explain you uh, in terms of an mba class all right you have an uh, second year mba students in one class that is a kra then we have different specializations finance hr marketing business analysis supply chain this becomes the kpi in a simple way are you all there yes, are you all there who is there ishika is only there who the other yes. you all are traveling are you all traveling yes ma'am okay see how kra is derived mission and vision derived then we have the organizational objectives then the management goals then we have the department goals as we function in different departments then we have the individual kras individual everybody will have a individual kra so if you see how i have made this one person the president then okay board of directors then the departmental heads then the sub heads and then the people working so everyone has got a kra in the organization without without a kra or without a kpi there will be no performance appraisal remember that then what do i do all right fulfill now just see this is a customer requirement i have just put it in the this thing fulfill customers requirement okay you give the support function then for the customers you can do hotel booking you can do some transfers and there the customer needs some leisure leisure if you are in the service sector then okay now see this is you know tambran individual kra so i have named this as tick t i k tick how it is score break huh? just see now this is the entire tambran right target 80% achievement of goals out of that 20% is your critical behavioral attributes that is on the job behavior this is very very important on the job behavior counts for 20% of your kra so when we always tell you don't portray a wrong attitude what we are trying to tell you that your critical behavioral attributes will be counted during your performance appraisal that is on the job behavior then we have the tick score as 100% your target score is 80% your critical uh, uh, critical behavior attributes are 20% okay now see your target scores are divided into three kras achieve and surpass the goals that the previous goals then error free operations then you have the compliance now this compliance means you follow all the rules all right you follow all the rules now i have just stated one kra under one kra we have three kpis that we have the costing we have the follow up and then we have the negotiations now i have just showed you one kra in order to fit into this slide if i have to have kra to error free operations then you should have your skills you should know to operate and you should know how to design and you should know have the technical know how compliance means yes everybody is pf everybody is esi everybody is workman policy liaisoning of the industry should take this so we can have this kras divided as per the departments then significance of behavioral attribute attributes very important huh? it comes to 20% service oriented industry one organization one set of values right from day one differentiation factors personal touch that is you need to care 
for the employee you need to care for your teammate higher the responsibility more emphasis on behavioral skills you cannot have an emotional outburst you cannot go on shouting rampantly in the organization right because all this behavior comes to 20% then you will have better interpersonal skills and better growth uh, prospects and it gives you a long term success mantra so if you have to sustain then in an organization the kras have to be taken very seriously then why we need to measure behavior communication on phone email chat is the main stay yeah? i'm talking in today's context most of the times you know what happens we say good morning and the person does not respond us in good morning that is not right that shows your behavior say the right things the right way negotiate negotiate convince and convert then relationships determine your business we cannot work in isolation we cannot be an i specialist we have to work in a team and that's the reason we, sh we should always call we display of responsibility and leadership determines the leaders for the future then keeping abreast okay i'm just i'll just explain the meaning that you have to keep yourself updated regarding the marketing environment all this will help to for the organization to grow now critical behavior behavioral attributes which is communication relationship building and managing time management client orientation if you are into the marketing domain how are you going to talk to your customers if you are in the result orientation at the end of the day what is the result have you sold your product to the client team management your behavior will decide whether you are a team player right and then your leadership and then your business acumen business acumen means i for the detail you take care of every detail of your job then again we have smart right the kra should be now what is this word smart specific measurable achievable relevant and time bound so kra should be specific and logical kra should be quantifiable that means you should measure them because we are giving the weightage kra sprint should be achievable kra should be associated to the job associated to the job means if i am an hr person my kra is will be related to recruitment performance appraisal training and development employment engagement you cannot give me the marketing kras right then it should be time bound as i mentioned earlier time bound if i have, if i need to recruit a person that better run our own time right the days have been given is 30 days then how is the process okay how kras are, are linked to the performance appraisal for kra is set then always we need to review and advise if anything is going wrong that is the evaluation technique then we are giving the rewards we are taking the corrective steps the corrective steps if anything is going wrong then if one, if one job is over another target is set and then the final performance appraisal okay oh no i will show you that okay afterwards then once the kr is done i am just telling you the process the employee details self appraisal by the employee because even you need to do your self assessment then appraisal by the immediate reporting manager then once he once your our manager gives the report and that doesn't mean it is a full and final okay it is again moderated it is again checked by the reviewer now who is the reviewer very important person in the organization is the profit center head who will decide how much to give who will decide how much to give then the data will be collected and the analysis will be done by the hr now what type of analysis okay these were the targets uh, we had given him 90% of targets 
and say he's achieved only 88 percent so the decision making will be done by all these people how much to pay or how much increments to give decision taking and the new kra is set based on the data okay now he's done this so we are going to set the kra is for the next year Is it clear? Is it clear? Do you have any uh, difficulties up till here? KRAs are, of course, you'll understand. It will take some time to understand. Any difficulties up till here? All right. Now, under KRAs, as I said, they come, uh, there are the KPIs. Now, what is the benefit of the KPI? The KPIs will always help to improve the productivity, uh, improve the sales. Then, as I saw, the most important was the performance appraisal. Then, uh, we can evaluate the performance appraisal in a better way. It becomes easy for the person to understand his targets. Then, secondly, it becomes easy to improve the performance of the organization on a whole. So the what you say, the organization is moving according to the vision, missions, and the goals which are set by the person. All right. Then, as I said, the applications of the KRA can be in the recruitment and selection team. It can help us in planning. It can help us in training and development. It can help us in uh, the re-engineering and restructuring of the organization. Succession planning, career planning. You know what is succession planning? Now today, if I am the vice president, all right, what will be my succession planning? What will be my succession planning? To become the president. To become the president. That is the succession. Very good. Okay, then uh, everybody is followed up till here. What I'm trying to tell you about key result areas and uh, key uh, KPIs. Any difficulty? I just wanted to show you with the help of diagram. It becomes very easy what is going to happen in the... Now just see uh, one small template I have made for you. Right? This is how it is going to be. Your objectives, weightage, performance standard, target, and actions. This is how it is going to be. See here. Your overall objectives. Then your total financial objectives, customer obje uh, objectives. Now see, if this is a KRA, I repeat, this is your KPI. If this is a KRA, this is your KPI. If uh, Now for this, we just have a KPI. If this is a KRA, this is going to be your KPI. So you are getting the difference. So critical success factors are divided into two KRAs and KPIs. <coughs> are you all following? Yes, ma'am. If you don't follow, please come and ask me again and again. Huh? There was one thing I made for you. I don't know whether I got it on my pen drive. Uh, um, Google Drive, you know, my laptop is new. Let me see if anything is there in the world. Yeah. Let me see, I put my, my KRIs in this also, huh? Anyone who is still not followed and how are your SIPs going on? How are your SIPs going on? People, how are the SIPs going on? All right. Any uh, difficulty up till here? 
anything which you wish to know please let me know yes who are there please name yourself who is there in today's class please name yourself tell me your names tell me your names good morning ma'am yeah tell me your name i can see 37 participants ma'am sakshi yes. sakshi with sakshi yes, shir sagar okay sakshi sakshi did you follow kras and kpis yes ma'am yes ma'am who else who's the next ishika ha ah, ishika is always there no doubt ishika following kras and kpis yes ma'am if you don't follow please come uh, when you get time come up okay to the college yes, yes, okay and who else is there next renuka jada yes i hear ha ah, okay renuka following yes ma'am yes ma'am yes who else adikshita ma'am okay next now if i'm not going to ask her individual i'm asking overall if you still don't if you still don't follow if the concepts are not clear kras and kpi is important from the examination point of view whenever you have free time just come to college all right okay am i clear yes ma'am okay yes, so we will stop the lecture thank you for attending the class have a nice day and stay blessed bye thank, thank you ma'am thank you ma'am i repeat still any difficulty don't hesitate please come up ask again and again but don't write any blunders in your examination What happened, Mohit sir? I have left the meeting.